Hi, so welcome back. I quickly wanted to show you a project that I did that was really, really easy and gained me a little bit more storage in my kitchen. First, I just wanted to tell you that this project that I did a long time ago, my kid's cupboard, is still my number one favorite organizing project, project of all time. Like, of all time. I did this at the old house years ago. I think Izzy was three. Um, when I gave them a kids cupboard and no looking back so if you have small children or children even getting a little bit older it's an amazing way to give them some independence to help um, you save time and to I guess that's it <laughs> come with me I'll show you this is my kids cupboard um, I put them in bins and I'm so glad I did because when we're putting away groceries, I did it just so it would look a little bit nicer, but um, it's so convenient, just like pull outs in the cupboard and my Tupperware bin, I love this. So you pull this out, I put it on the counter when I'm putting away groceries. But the snack cupboard was getting kind of full. It does hold a lot. We always, when we get home from the grocery store, we have the kids open up all the boxes of their snack type things and put it away. And taking everything out of the box just saves you a lot of space. But I still needed more room. So I had this old shoe sor sorter downstairs. I actually cut it up <laughs> and used it in three different spots. So the, what fit on this one was the three, and you could see where the, um, the divider here is. I just hung that at the divider so you can easily still close the cupboard with no problem. So anyways, it holds an entire box of granola bars. So there's not an entire box in there, but it holds so much food, a whole ton of fruit snacks and and all these things that are quick grab for your kids. So if you have a pantry door, you could have even a full size um, shoe sorter on the back of your door. And if not, you can just have one of these uh, cut it down. I just cut it, simply cut it with scissors and attached it with 3M hooks. I just poked holes in with scissors there. <laughs> I mean, it's not fancy at all, but it really, really works to create a ton more storage in my kitchen to hold snacks and snacky type things. With the rest of this, I cut out um, the one more section that was right here and I hung that in under my bathroom sink and it holds my curling irons and hair accessories. And then the top part, which was um, four by two across, it actually holds all of my spray paint downstairs. So a shoe hoarder, sh <laughs> Why can I not say this? A shoe sorter is such an amazing organizational tool. You can use it inside your cupboards. You can use it on the back of your bathroom door for all your bathroom products. There, and of course for shoes, but there's just so many great ways. They also work really, really great is cutting them in half and putting them on the back of your car seats to organize things um, while you're driving in your car, like a box of Kleenex will fit in there, snacks for your kids, a whole sort of thing. It makes a great car sorter. Shoe sorters. <laughs> I'm having trouble saying that. <laughs> it's a, a great organizational tool for the inside of your cupboards. I recommend using 3M hooks so you're not damaging your cupboards. You could always move them around, take them off without causing damage. And if you do have small children, a um, snack cupboard is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to have. So we have the cups that they can just get their own cups so they can get their own water. I also have a container for Kool-Aid with a little tap in the fridge so they can get themselves a drink of Kool-Aid. We have their dishes here so they can help empty the dishwasher and set the table and get their own dishes all of the time. And water bottles so they can get their own water bottle and of course snacks. And I just made these quick labels here. Um, just with paper and I printed that out on the computer. Anyways, so there you go. A quick organizing tip using shoe sorters. I said it. <laughs> That's your tip. We'll see you next time.